Quotes and I am at retreat and I have not done an intro. It is actually 11 10 p.m. and I actually went live tonight so I hope you saw that video. Had a lot of tips from some of the quilting people in the room. They were telling you what their favorite quilting tip or giving you a quilting tip. But I have been working on the fourth crazy block the charity quilts that I'm working on the fourth one that I'm piecing myself and so I did do a recording of me doing that so I'll insert the speed sewing of me doing the actual sewing of the blocks into rows
I can't remember if I taped any when I was actually sewing the rows together, but here is the book top. step is that I'm actually going to put the border on this quilt and I got my borders ready to go. I've got them here and they're already sewn so that they like sewn together into two sets as you can see here two strip sets of borders and I'm going to put these on the sides first and then the top. So I'll just insert a picture of the completed quilt top right here. <laughs> okay. And then I don't know what time I'm going to go to bed. I may work on some other projects. Let me show you what I would like to do. I would like to lay these pink blocks out so that I can sew them into rows. And then I have these six inch straight string blocks that I put together that I want to put these two borders on as well. I don't know if I'll do all of that tonight, but I hope to at least get the border on the quilt. And I forgot to tell you that I also made this bag a nice drawstring bag you can use it for your clothes pins if you like but it can be used for any kind of gift giving just a really nice bag so I am going to end for right now if I come back tonight I'll come back otherwise I'll see you tomorrow hi everybody it is 3 40 a.m. I have not been to bed yet I am actually the only one in the room right now and I just thought that I would give you a recap of what I have actually done. I'm actually watching some YouTube videos or actually listening to some YouTube videos. I'm actually listening to some YouTube videos, but I haven't actually paid much attention because I've been actually getting some things done. So, let me turn you around here. These are my chain pieces. So I have been just making these Tri-Rex blocks. I actually got all of these fabrics from Diana. She didn't want them anymore. They're actually trees. But I might do something else with them. I don't know yet, but I've just been chain piecing with those. And I got the border on the charity quilt that, um, from block quilt I pieced my pink blocks together and I did not bring anything if, for borders or anything like that I just wanted to get the blocks done and then of course my bag I showed you that and then I made my binding for the quilt that's on my long arm frame so I got plenty of that left and I'm just about to try to clean up some of these areas so I was separating stuff that I could put up and this is actually my work area right now <laughs> and I always bring my own chair and I have projects in here my Christmas project and then I also have this container here that has my six inch squares that need the border so I'm going to take this out and put this project up because these are just extra pieces and I actually already have a border cut so yeah I'm not sure how much longer I'm going to be up maybe I will just tell you in the next clip when I actually come back to you in my next clip I probably won't vlog anymore until after breakfast so I'm not sure if I'm gonna go to bed after breakfast which breakfast is at 8 or if I am going to go to bed at maybe 5 
and sleep to about 7.30 maybe. We'll see, but I'll keep you abreast when I come back. Hi, it's T, it's retreat day two. I'm with my friend Norma. Hi everyone. <laughs> we are on our way to lunch. We've had breakfast and we weren't really impressed. <laughs> so we are gonna go see what uh, <laughs> we've lunch had is breakfast. all we, about. We, we knew it wasn't good, so we are gonna go see what lunch is. Now we are gonna walk through this chapel, so we gotta be quiet and then we'll come back. Alrighty, we're back. <laughs> now we're gonna descend these steps here. Let me turn this back around. I'm hoping that lunch is a lot better. That's the only downside with this particular facility is that when we first came years ago, food was really, really good. They had a chef or had a whole staff. They were even serving lunch to their staff and they got offices of other entities here as well. And it was pretty rambunctious, but it has not been so the last maybe three, four years. So that's the only disappointment. So I'm going to cut you off and then I'll come back. <laughs> so we're at the salad bar. We have, this is my salad and then you can put whatever you want on it. And they even got beets and stuff, which is really good. And now we're at the hot bar. Welcome back, I love, ladies. love vegetables. Thank you so much. You're welcome. How's the clothing coming along? Wow, it looks beautiful. We had a, a, a hot pini uh, fresco pasta. It's pretty cool. I'm impressed. Love it, love it. And then sandwiches here. It is chicken parmesan. Wow. All right. All right. So I'm going to go eat. I will see you <laughs> on the next clip. Okay, so I didn't know that behind me they have this stew pot and we've got gumbo here. Here it is right here. And then they've got like desserts here. I don't normally do desserts. I'm such a plain Jane when it comes to desserts. But they are really, really pretty. And then in the morning time, this is other stuff that's out, cereals and things like that. So I'm going to get some soup. Let's take a look at it. Wow, look at that, look at that. I gotta put you down. Lunch is very good. So I'm here to Come on. Is it? It's not work. Okay. <laughs> hey, I'm back to tell you that lunch was really good. Enjoyed it. That was a major improvement over the previous year. So. They killed it. Thumbs up, Macy's. Mercy. <laughs> but it's uh... yeah. Hi, it's T. And we are on, it's 4 p.m. <laughs> Let's see, it's 4 p.m. And we probably will be going to lunch about, I mean, dinner about 5. <laughs> I'm tired, y'all. But I have done a whole lot of work. I can't remember last night where I left off. But I will tell you that I 
made my binding for my long arm, the quilt that's on my frame now. That made that binding. And then I also am working on the part of the so long project. So I'm on the next step for that. And I'm stopping there. I'm not going to work on that anymore. I did some weeding for t-shirts that I'm going to be mailing out on Monday. So I got all of my t quilts logos ready to go. And I'm trying to make sure I haven't missed anything. And I did get my pink blocks done. And I'll be showing you all of that stuff at Show and Tell. But what I wanted to really show you is that I'm now working on my Cardinals quilt. And I just wanted to show you a few pictures. So, here it is laid out. Right now it's 96 square inches. And when I need to sew the bottom portions together, that top part right here is sewed from here down I need to sew so from this St. Louis on the left all the way down here I need to sew and I also used my cutter and added a St. Louis skyline in silver metallic I made the STL heart and I also made this giant STL with my vinyl cutter I didn't have some of the players names like Stan Musio, Lou Brock. I even added my name in, <laughs> in case anybody think they want to, you know, take it home with them. This is Keith Hernandez. I added Ozzy Smith and Bob Gibson. So those are some of the names that I added because I didn't have those shirts. But getting one step closer to completion. I still have where. Oops, I still have where on each side here and over there, I'm going to be adding a column and when it's done, it'll be 100 square inches. So looking forward to this, I'm going to actually sew these rows together and then you will see it during our actual show and tell segment on Sunday. But yeah, I'm real happy with this. So once I get this done, then I will try to work on sewing some backings for the charity quilts. So see you then. Bye bye. Hi, it's T, and it is actually 2 a.m. Sunday morning, and we leave today. Actually, we have to be out between 1 and 2 p.m. And it has been a long day. I did a whole lot, I did not do a lot of recording. I am the last one in the room. The last person just walked out about maybe 10 minutes ago. So I don't know how long I'm going to be up. I actually took like, I had about three hours sleep overnight and then I took like an hour nap and then I rested for about another half hour. So I am kind of wide awake. <laughs> but um, I'm not sure what time I'm going to go to bed, but I thought I'd come on and do kind of a closing for retreat. Just walk around the room a little bit and see if there's anything of interest that I feel you might want to see. You will be seeing show and tell. Hopefully people will be okay with me recording it. So yeah, I'll just show you what some people were working on. So we've got a lot of half square triangles here. Lady here has a lot of scraps She's making four patches, I think, but she could be making other stuff, too. Things here stacked up for show and tell. <laughs> so everybody is kind of gone. It's been a long, 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 long day. <laughs> I got a whole lot done, though. Let me talk about this table back here that I didn't talk about before. This is like a door prize drawing. Some things are gifts that we gave, received in previous retreats that were leftovers, like these baskets, those containers, these fat quarter pops, things like that. So we'll get a chance to win one of these items tomorrow. These rulers, I don't think we've had before. Maybe they were donated. I'm not sure. But, yes. Plenty of opportunities there. 
um, let me walk back up this way. So I walked on one side of the table just to let you see what some people's work areas are. She's got a whole combination of just purple batiks. And then look at this container of her other scraps of just purple batiks. <laughs> sure would hate to see all of her batiks stored. Not hate, but you know what I mean. I would love to see it. <laughs> Christmas fabrics there. I don't know what that is, but we maybe we'll see some of this doing show and tell. So just walking around giving you a look at the floor. Just got strings and confetti everywhere. <laughs> but we'll pick up most of this with our little rollers, our lint rollers. Someone is working on look like a one block wonder quilt. Very pretty. And her area is cleaned up. And we've got some blue and yellow florals here. Some more over there. Look at this pretty little block. This is Mrs. Miller Apprentice by Pam Butta is the fabrics. And I'm trying to see if I can find you pattern information. Oh my gosh, this book is awesome. Mrs. Miller Apprentice. Just beautiful. It's a block of the month. And it looks like she is doing month one instructions here. So, pretty cool. Very nice. I was trying to see if she had other months, so she's just starting that. But at least you know the name of it. <laughs> Nothing here to show. You'll see it all doing show and tell. This is our coordinator spot. She taught the class for the workshop. I didn't do the class today. And then you can see her picture down here. I'll show you her quilt on the floor. She's got the blocks laid out. Somebody here is making a string border for the scrap of rama quilt, our Scrap Quilting Club's last year's project. It's pretty cool. And nice neat work area with things put up. So we will show you doing show and tell. Again, show and tell moments here. Show and tell moments. <laughs> Some ladies, they clean up very nice. I gotta put her quilt back on that table I took it off so that I could use it to make quilt bags with so you see that is part of well it's sort of kind of the project but she did it her own way and then this is the quilt that I just showed you I'm trying to get over so you can see but that is the actual pattern right there <laughs> but it's really pretty love the blocks i could see that made in all different colorways and fabric styles as far as bright muted civil war that kind of thing again another cleanish desk area where you don't have anything showing what they did but oh it's right here but she'll show you doing show and tell she's been quilting that quilt so you'll see it later. Another clean work area here. <laughs> and these purple and greens here are very pretty. Pretty, pretty. It looks like she's getting this pattern from out of a magazine. And it is American Patchwork and Quilting. December 2017's edition. So that's that. And on this side, more clean areas. They put their items up. Some people love to clean up so when they come back the next day, they're refreshed. 
those are pretty I think those are placemats just gorgeous got some string blocks right here she was working on some other things you'll be seeing in show and tell got an Africa quilt back there she sort of cleaned up her area here is two and then this is my area which I am about to clean up and in this chair or some of the things that or all of the things that I worked on during retreat I worked on portions of the Cardinals quilt so I've got my whole center panel completed I just got to do my left and right columns to be done for quilt backings here fabric was donated by uh, Phyllis Gardner and this backing was donated by somebody else but I used the backing fabrics that Phyllis had to make this back and this back and then this is also another fabric well this blue is on here I used the leftover on this quilt top that somebody else donated let me clarify that then on here I added one piece of brown just a solid piece of brown fabric I had in my stash here and that will be two backs now so I made some binding and then I worked on part of the sew along part of step two on the shaded four patches so yeah my area is a mess from here so I'm going to start putting stuff back into these containers that I know I'm not going to use tomorrow I just might do some string blocks and call it a day just to have something to do but I'm going to try to clean up my work area <laughs> it's a mess so I will So I'm going to go ahead and end this video here, but do know that you will probably have show and tell following. So if you're interested in seeing what everyone worked on the entire weekend, it's probably going to be at least another 30 to 40 minutes of this video. So I will see you all next time. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Also hit that bell so you'll be notified anytime I go live or share a video with you all and don't forget to share my site my youtube channel with your other quilting friends thank you all so much bye everybody <laughs>
We'll be right back. 